Hallelujah. Give the Lord Jesus a big big hand. Amen. How many are truly ready for an encounter today? Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth forth knowledge. God is uttering something from heaven in your direction today. He sent a word into Jacob, and it imparted upon a whole nation. Somebody's receiving a specific word today that will turn your life around forever. How many will say, Good morning, Jesus? Good morning, Holy Spirit. I am here for an encounter. I am set for an encounter. Please get seated for a moment. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard. The word that turns people's lives around are the words they heard while in the spirit. I was in the spirit on the last day and I heard. You can be in the church, you can be in a convention, but are you in the spirit? Because the natural man receives not the things of the spirit of God. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually designed. First Corinthians chapter two and verse fourteen. A natural man receiving not the things of the Spirit of God, neither can he know them. He, he cannot know them. Your intellect and my intellect has no capacity to receive revelation. It can only receive information. Revelation is deep, calling on to the deep. It's your spirit interacting with the spirit of God that brings a man into revelation. I was in the spirit on the last day and I heard. So you find two people sitting there in the same meeting and one caught a word that took his life 360 degree around. Another one got there and was wondering was anything really said? Because he was not in the spirit is not a candidate for revelation. So only men and women of the spirit are real candidates for revelation. Men and women of the spirit. It's so important for us today to position properly in the spirit so you can catch your own world that will turn your own world around. And that's all left to you. A natural man, no matter how sound upstairs, no matter how cute, cannot receive the things of the Spirit of God. Neither can he know them. He has no capacity to assess and receive them because they can only be assessed spiritually so only men of the spirit ever catch revelation men of the spirit we must not reduce the things of god to motivational stuff it's far beyond it my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts so get ready for a revolution today Get ready for a revolution today. A revolution connotes a forceful turnaround. Get ready for a revolution today. Something that will turn your life around forever. Get ready for it today. By 
positioning your spirit man properly to catch your word as it comes. One word from God can turn your entire world around forever. And the Lord sent a word into Jacob and it lighted upon Israel. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 8. It lighted upon the whole nation. One word coming into a man turned his entire world around. That's what God does to men and women of the spirit. That's what God does to men and women of the spirit. There are certain things I've heard in my life that the date, the time, and the place is as clean as the date was delivered. That's an encounter. Men of the Spirit. I opened a book one time, and the very first page was like the conclusion of everything. Gave me such a deep encounter. My soul followed hard after thee, O God, and thy right hand upholded me. And the word came and said, the harder you follow me, the higher you fly. You can always catch an encounter when you are a man and a woman of the Spirit. I believe certain things are loaded into this morning. You won't miss your own package. Certain things will drop for you today that uh, you never recover from it forever. That's what it means. Someone was ministering years ago and then the word landed on my life and as it were, was rewiring my mental system. And it was so real that when I got back to study, I said to God, I'm understanding this thing too much. It was too much. There was a visible, as it were, rewiring of my intellectual system. Everything was taught by a word that was dropping from the mouth of a man. Somebody's here this morning. Something will drop from you that will rewire your destiny permanently. And will turn you to a surprise to yourself. How many will say amen to you? Get ready and stand to your feet. Lord, my spirit is ready. My heart is open. I'm set for an encounter of a lifetime with your word this morning. Holy Spirit, reach out to me in a unique way. Beyond my widest expectation. Let something happen to me this morning. That will change my story forever. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Son of God. I love you, Spirit of God. And I love your word. Thank you. Amen. This morning we have to take us in the first leg of the word. A very, very dear, anointed co-worker in the gospel. Who has been there over the years and faithfully so not only faithfully so but fruitfully so also join me welcome bishop thomas aremo as he takes on the word this morning hallelujah 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 someone that is set for an encounter this morning shout hallelujah, hallelujah. father thank you Father, thank you. Father, thank you. You have put this convention together to change lives. To reward destiny. To provoke a missing breakthrough. Thank you, precious Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. And now, Lord, send your word with power. Let there be understanding heart given to every hearer. Amen. And glorify your name. Amen. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Let me to tell your neighbor, you shall be blessed today. Amen. Amen. And after that, put your hands together for the Lord as you have your seat. I count it a great privilege to be given by our Father and the Lord. To share the word of life with us. And out of much that we have received of him, 
over the year out of the depth of revelation i will share the little and i believe the little that will be shared will take you further in your adventure to breakthroughs thank you very much sir amen we have before us the subject matter of revelation god servant opened us up yesterday unveiling the breakthrough power of love and when you are in love with god there are things that are yours i think those things that are yours are what will be delivered to you now and one cardinal benefit of that relationship being in love with god being espoused to him getting married to god loving god and loving humanity one of the things that you get from that relationship is revelation 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 you, you can't walk with the light and get married to the light and walk in ignorance you can abide in the light and walk in ignorance he said as long as i'm in the world i'm the light of the world and whosoever believe in me will not walk in darkness revelation revelation i'll take the first text from psalm 82 and i want to read revelation just like god servant has just prophesied today will be the beginning of revolution in your life in the name of jesus christ psalm 82 psalm 82 i want to read from verse 5 they know not that's not you from today they know not neither will they understand they don't have the know-how they don't have the nitty-gritty of what they are doing and what they are called to do they walk on in darkness your sojourn in darkness is broken today yeah. all the foundations of the heart are out of course disorderliness setback disappointment out of course business out of course career out of course educational pursuit out of course but that's not you after this convention yeah. i have said here gods you don't know who you are that's why you see remain you don't know you don't understand that's why you still remain in setbacks i have said you are girls and all of you are children of the most high you don't know who who begotten you to whom you are espoused but you shall die like me you will not die again if I, after this convention dying business will revive and fall like one of the princes the lack fall you have the last shortfall losses you have will be the last one forever yeah. in the name of jesus christ men and brethren the era of darkness is here with us darkness we cover there and gross darkness the people not just darkness we are stepping into the era of gross darkness that is utter darkness but it's not for you it's not for what it's not for you you belong to the light you belong to the one who shine who causes light to shine over the whole world the one who said from the beginning let there be light so wherever you have sojourned in darkness i say to you this morning let there be light in the name of jesus christ and when you are in the midst of gross darkness the authentic antidote is gross light what do i call it gross light no matter how gross the darkness can be just go for the light and light connotes revelations revelation connotes light 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 that is the unfolding of mysteries that will give you mastery you become a master where you are called to serve in the area of your life 
in your purpose in life is not enough to have vision it's not enough to have purpose for living you must have the operational know-how what next we are next how next because to see ahead is to go ahead to see where is to go where are you hearing what i'm saying he said, as far as your height can see, it shall be given to you for possession. Even though it's yours. But the revelation you have is what determines your progression. Even in the midst of that fissure. May the Lord give you understanding. What is revelation? Revelation is ability to see beyond the surface. Beyond the surface. Ability to see into the invisible in order to begin to do impossible if all you see is what other people in the same business with you see then how can you scale in new height in that business the only thing you are operating with is the same principle your neighbor is operating with how will you excel so revelation is ability to see into the invisible and there's no one who sees into the invisible who will not do the impossible. The faith tabernacle we are having today that God has blessed this great commission with, it was seen. It has been revealed since April 1982. It's only on ground by September 99. But it was revealed. Somebody had the revelation of it in terms of the vision of this great commission. Our Father in the Lord. How can you say you are going to build a tabernacle? No pillar. It will see 50,000 people. You can't dare that. You can't even give it to any contractor. Because they will tell you it's not possible. But when revelation comes, all that goes with it from the one who reveal who give you that revelation begin to surface the wisdom for application for implementation to get to that accomplishment it will be delivered by the same source the source of your revelation and when it was time for that revelation to become manifestation god satan was instructed this is the place talking about Canaan land God's servant was instructed, this is what you are to do. At every stage, this is what is next. From today, before you finish implementing one revelation, another one will have come. Yeah. You will no longer be revelation dry. Yeah. Thank God for your seal. Thank God for skill. Thank God for diligence. You are very hard working. But without consistent flow of revelation, you will soon get to your limitation. All this limitation in progress is not of the devil, as you are saying. All the devil, they say, I will not go forward, I bind you. You have been binding them. But nothing is flowing. After you are bound and loose with fasting, you know what is missing? Revelation, insight, light. Lie. He that have lie have no occasion to stumble, no matter the witches that are against him. Light, revelation is the cure for limitation in progress. <laughs> revelation, revelation, and you have this our God, the one we have come to love and be espoused to in this convention. <laughs> Daniel said he revealed secrets. <laughs> He revealed, let's, let, let's go and see the credential in Daniel chapter 2. Because it's good you know what your husband has so that he won't suffer as a wife. Revela I mean, Daniel chapter 2. Uh, some of this scripture I will read. Why? I want you to see it. I want you to mark it. I want it to become part of your meditation. Daniel chapter 2. Let's see the CV of our husband, our maker. He said, 
In verse 19, there was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. The secrets that you need that will make you sacred in that business, in that calling, it shall be unfolded to you also. And Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And verse 22, he revealed the deep and secret things. Is that in your Bible? That CV, curriculum vitae of our father, our husband, our maker. He revealed the deep and secret thing. He knoweth what is in the darkness. Can you see? He knew what is in darkness. That's why the gross darkness of this world cannot catch up with you. He said, Arise, shine, for your light has come. Darkness will cover the world. Gross darkness, the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you, and his light shall be seen upon you. And the Gentile will begin to come to your light. People will begin to say, How are you making it? What are you using other than what we are taught in the university? Isaiah 16, verses 1 to 4. So he revealed the deep and the secret. He knoweth what is in the dark. And the light dwelleth with him. So those who dwell in love, they are the one dwelling in God. And God is light. Can you see? So dwelling in love is dwelling in God. And so it also equates dwelling in light. And look at verse 28. But there is a God in heaven. That reveal a secret and make known to King Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the later days. What shall be in the later day? Investing in a wrong business today is the crash of your, is announcing the crash of your business tomorrow. He said, When the Holy Ghost comes, He will show you things to come. Economic analysis may not show it. CNN may not bring out that analysis. Professors of economy may not discover it. But say, he said, when the Holy Ghost comes, the spirit of truth, the spirit of the Father, he said, will show you things to come. <laughs> That's John 16, 13 to 15. He said, he will re receive of me and Show it to you. Beginning from today, you will see. Yeah. And you will hear. Yeah. And you will perceive. Yeah. And you will conceive. Yeah. The secret that will give you a missing breakthrough. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, revelation is the eternal cure from frustration. Revelation. You can't be frustrated trading with what is revealed. It's also the cure for stagnation. Because the moment you can't see again, you don't hear again, uh, so where else are you going? When power is off in your house in terms of electricity power, you discover even physically, wherever you reach at that point when they take the light, is where you stop. And until there is an illumination, no matter how small it is, even a spark, you can't move from that point. Struggling to move from that point, it's entering a ditch or knocking your head on the wall. That's what happened to those who are not walking in light. When your light goes out of obscurity, then you are heading for a fall. You will not fall again in the name of Jesus. I say you will not fall again in the name of Jesus. I also want to say this, that nature abhors vacuum. You are either trading with revelation. That's secret from heaven. Define secret from heaven mystery that are unfolded unto you you are either trading with it or 
you will be trading with demonic manipulations. So after somebody is instructing you, if it's not the light, then it will be darkness. Many things, many people are doing are just manipulation of the wicked. He asks you to turn to the left where you are to go to the right because he wants you to fall. He rejoices at your calamity. When you make losses, you fail. You become poor. The devil and his cohort begin to clap. So, the only and the cheapest way to get out of demonic manipulation is trading with revelation. Let me share this testimony. When I was a student, an accountancy student, I didn't know more teaching or revelation from heaven, but I know that where well, it's good to pray and commit your way to the hands of the Lord. So two weeks to examination, I will use a weekend to fast and pray. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I may go to a mountain or may stay in the, around the premises or a church. What am I asking the Lord? Lord, show me what is coming. Show me what? What is coming? And I will finish by Sunday and then resume my final day towards the examination. Men and brethren, I have seen paper what is coming from A to Z before. Someone will come to my dream and give me a paper to work. And that was in management mathematics. And that was my core challenge. Because I studied arithmetic in my own secondary school. And now I'm studying accounting. I have to study management mathematics. In fact, my colleague called it that time Red Sea. Because some have not been able to cross over <laughs> until their colleague leave them behind. So I told the Lord, I said, Lord, this rest you. Let me cross. And he said, he will give his angel charge over you. And someone will bring the paper and ask me to do the working and do the corrections. When I saw the paper, I said, I have seen this paper before. I have seen everything before. And the man was vehement in wickedness. Nobody can get distinction in my paper. No matter where you come from. <laughs> the Holy Ghost showed me things to come. It was like I was just reproducing what he has taught me, what he has corrected. Not a scratch in my workings. And the man was looking for what to remove. Where is 20, we put 15. At the end of it, I still got 79%. Which was the essential. That's the maximum. I mean, it was CA. And then everybody was crying. This man is wicked. Where did he bring this one? He didn't teach on this one. He didn't <laughs> I was just laughing. And he told the whole class, but someone got A. Somebody got the station. Where others are crying, you will be laughing. Where others are frustrated, you will be celebrated. It's not only that. So I begin to see. I say, okay, this is how to prepare. From that one experience, that was what I used all through. My accountancy. And then they call me examination without tears. Some in my class say, Aremu is doing charm. Because we don't see him. Where we go. God, at times they will bring paper to me. I say, it won't come out. They say, how did you know? I say, it won't come out. Go and look for another thing to do. Don't waste your time on this one. Why? Because I know what is coming out. It will show you things to come. So I become a celebrated student. After me, you need at least 100 marks before you can be named. God will put a gap of distinction between you and your contemporaries. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are not working in Revelation, you work with assumption. Guess what? You just take chances 
where you don't have choices. Where if this one does not work, this one should work. And maybe all of them can work. But you are not having what works. So anything you see is good enough. Without revelation, you'll be following the norms, following the crowd, following what man dictates, following just the economic principle of this world because there's no revelation. I want to let you know the difference between the failing Christian and the rising Christian is revelation. That one who is rising above you, you are in the same church. Maybe it's your comfort. He has what you don't have. That's all. We don't even know what they are doing. We are going to the same church. He may not be doing anything other than he's connected. Because of his love for God, he's connected. In case there is anyone that has been disconnected from the love of God, this convention will bring your restoration, yeah. your reconnection. Yeah. Revelation makes the difference between the progressive and the stagnant. You see some people just going up, up there. And some people just down, down there. Revelation makes the difference between the poor and the rich. Because until you have the working knowledge of prosperity, you may not. You may give all that you have. I have not because you don't know how to assess your harvest. You have given all. Your account in heaven is loaded. Even the angels are pitying you. But there is no access key. Heavenly information is what gives you earthly jubilation. When heaven speaks, then the heart hears. When something is revealed from you there, which is conceived from other, then you are celebrated here. The Lord gives you understanding. Look at Peter the struggler and Peter the high flyer. What was the difference? Revelation. Revelations. In Luke 5, Verse 5 to 6, <laughs> Peter said, we have toiled all night. But at your word, that is, now that you have revealed what is to be done, and now it's to be done, I will let down the net. And when he let down the net, he caught multitude of fishes, and the net break. The same Peter again, he went a fishing after the departure of Jesus. In John chapter 21, verses 3 to 6, Peter said, I'm going to fish. Other people say, we go with you. And the Bible said in verse 3, John 21, that night they caught nothing. That's what happened to people who just walk on guesswork, assumptions. They caught nothing. But Jesus appeared again in verse 6. I said, Peter, I know you have come again, this is what you have to do. Draw your net at the right hand and thou shalt have a cut. And when he did so, they caught multitude of fish. The same Peter. So any day, in any circumstances, revelation will deliver you from perspiration. Why are you sweating? And nothing to show for your sweat. Because you are sweating on ignorance. Why are you hard working? You are very hard working. But you are still suffering hardship in life. Because you don't have details of what to do. You are just doing something. And you are sweating with it. But after today, your story will change. Like that of Peter. Peter the struggler became Peter the great. He became a high flyer. And the difference in his life was revelation. So nothing makes a high flyer out of a nobody like revelation. Isaiah 68, he said, who are these that fly to their window? Who are these? And he started by saying, where is revelation that bring people to that point? Who are these that fly to their window? You too, you will begin to fly to your own window. That is your whole inheritance after this encounter in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is super light that makes a superman. In the recent, there is no superman. But he has super light. Revelation from heaven. He has light and understanding. He has something that has been conceived from other, but revealed to him. 
Then people say, this is, this is wonderful. This man is great. <laughs> you can have revelation from the Almighty and not be made great by that revelation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Revelation is that little extra that makes you extraordinary. An accomplishment. It gives you a common breakthrough wherever you go. So, what is hidden? Which is shown to other, but which is yet to be revealed to you, is what makes you to be in the hiding. Revelation exposes you to your world. It makes you to be announced to your world. And I want to let you know, the end time church will be city of revelation. If you read Isaiah chapter 2 very well, verses 1 to 5, he say, O ye house of Jacob, walk ye. Let us walk in the light of God. He said, the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be exalted above all mountains, and all nations shall flow into it. And many people shall say, let us go to the God of Jacob, that he might teach us his ways. He has to give us revelation of his way. Our own ways not producing results. Let's go for his way. Revelation. So, Zion is becoming the city of deliverance. Over that 17. A deliverance from what? Deliverance from obscurity, deliverance from mediocrity, deliverance from ignorance. Whatever ignorance follow you to this convention, it will not graduate with you. In Jesus' mighty name, believer will begin to know what to do to generate results that they desire. John 6 says, He said, He himself knew what he would do. There is what to do to change that small shop into a supermarket. There is what to do. Everybody was making suggestions. Jesus himself knew what he would do. What he would do. Is, you know why certain things are concealed from the eyes of the whole world? Because it's specifically for you. If it is documented, people will read it. If it is on the net, they will catch it before you. But it is definitely packaged to fulfill your destiny, to fulfill your purpose. So you have to go to the one who reveals secret to get it discovered. In Deuteronomy 29, 29 it says, the things, secret things belong to God, but the things that are revealed are for us and for our children. Let me read this scripture and then I give us how to assess this dimension of light. Isaiah 30, 29. Isaiah 30, 29. Knowing what to do to generate your desired result is what trigger unending breakthroughs. That's breakthrough after breakthrough. We have heard from God's servant. Breakthrough is not a destination. It's an adventure. You go from one to the other. While you are still celebrating one, another one is knocking at your door. That will be your experience from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 20. Oh no, Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30, verse 26. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. That's the higher dimension. And the light of the sun shall be sevenfold. That's gross light. As the light of seven days. In the day that the Lord binded up the breach of his people. Men and brethren, this is the day. You have been wounded enough. You have been confounded enough. The day that God binded up the breach of his people. And he let the stroke of their wound. I know some of you come here wounded. Financially wounded. In career wounded. In business wounded. But God is going to show you lie yeah. that we heal your broken hearted in the name of Jesus Christ. So the days of your being wounded because of ignorance is over. In Jesus' holy name. In Jesus' holy name. You know Isaiah is a prophet 
of end time. So Isaiah, apart from Isaiah 60, is the one also announcing here the day of gross light for the people of God. For what? For a bailout. A day of gross revelation. As a bailout from economic depression, repression, and affliction and frustration. You, know, you will no longer suffer the depression with the world around here. But how can I assess this dimension of light? How can I assess this gross light? How can I? Uh, some is light past light. There is a fluorescent tube. There is flood light. There is halogen. Are you hearing me? There is touch light. Are you? So, whatever light you are operating with, your level will change. Yeah. So, how can I assess greater light? How can I assess greater dimension of light? How can I assess this dimension of light that will lead to my healing? That will remove me out of my reproach. That will set me on a new pedestal, making me to scale new height and breaking new ground. Love is a master key for easy and continuous access to revelation. What do I call it? The love of God that shows in your love for humanity. That, that is it. it. Until you pass the love test, you will still remain a failure in the school of revelation. Love. Love. That was the test Peter was given. After that encounter, and Jesus gave him revelation that terminated the frustration he had. <laughs> hey, Peter, do you love me? Because this day, I won't just be coming to visit you. You need another dimension of light. The one that is consistent. Because the new realm you are going, you will need light to succeed. Do you love me more than this? Peter said, I love you. <laughs> he said, okay. Maybe you don't understand the meaning of it. Peter, do you love me more than this vision before? Because the way you are going, you are going back to your former profession. And three times. Jesus asked him that question. Uh, Peter was wondering, why the questions? He said, you know I love you. That is very late, very late, very late. I said to you, Peter, if your ignorance will be terminated and your frustration will not continue, you must love me. And you know what happened after that? Peter became the pillar of light for the first church. He has so much revelation. He spoke. And 3,000 so. All the chief priests of their day could not harass Peter again because his light has come. All the harassment, intimidation, and frustration you have suffered after this convention, you will suffer them no more. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the first Corinthians 2, which our Father had allotted for us yesterday, to take. He said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Now does it cross the heart of any man. What God has for them that love him. Not just for everybody in church. For those who love him. He has reserved divine secret for the anointed lover. Eyes have not seen. So, addicted lovers of God, don't trade in shallow waters. They trade with depths. And the deeper you are in revelation, the higher you fly in your callings. He said, but they are revealed unto us by his spirit. God, the spirit searcheth all things. Even the deep things of God. That is, love is your connectivity. The spirit of love is your connectivity to the depth of God. Too many things are yours. Say all things are yours because you are Christ. But then, <laughs> two little things are around you now. Why? Because of two little revelations you are trading with. Addicted lover, true lovers, anointed water, are God's confidant. 
all the confidentiality of this world how to run this world how to run smooth in this world how to be the head and not the tail in this world they are with the lovers of god they are with the lover of god just like your confidentiality is in the hands of your wife whether you accept it or not the closeness is there the relationship is there the thing you can't tell anybody he knows it even the one you have not told her she discover it that's why you see some of them they take your diary where you keep something and you thought it's secret you will open it and read everything before you come i said why didn't you tell me this why closeness relationship that's why you see lovers of god making discovery without end you just know sometimes you have no heart you have no anything you just know that you know that you know why because of connectivity with the spirit of light so you bear up your mind to the one you love isn't it the bearing of the mind is to your lover you tell him everything and that's why god said hey can i do this thing and not tell my friend abraham knowing that abraham will become a great nation that's genesis 18 17 to 19. god said i may not tell anybody but i will tell my lover that time abraham was the anointed lover of god and that was love speaking the almighty say ah i have somebody to discuss this thing with you on the earth amen you too will become god's confidant in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and this is also expressed by jesus christ john chapter 14 verse 21 to 23 he said he that loves me is the one that keeps my commandment I need that lost me he said myself the holy ghost the father we will come to him and make our abode with him if the teacher is living in your house eh? you say you don't know what is coming out the teacher is in your house the teacher the revealer the spirit of truth so that's john 14 21 to 23 jesus said he's not the holy ghost alone the father will come to your tabernacle jesus the light of the world said we abide also with you if you are a lover so when the trinity is in the house you become a tabernacle of light what others are looking for and searching for and they can't even find is revealed to you without knowing you hear his voice just like we had the testimony of our father and the lord you hear his voice as if you are hiding a broadcasting station as if you are hearing from cnn why because you have a resident revealer is that like you are looking at the sky and looking for what message the angels will bring for you the revealer the teacher is in the house may you become a carrier of trinity by exposing yourself to the love of god in the name of jesus christ finally all i want to say to you is to update your love for god update what your love for god update your love for god update your love for god you have not loved him enough that's why you have not been espoused to him enough and i want you to update your love for god don't be trading on the earth. I was born again in 1960. Are you still keeping his commandment? Are you still in relationship? Update and upgrade your love for God. The moment that is in place, so people will tell you, I used to hear the voice of God before. I don't hear him again. He's you who has departed from him. In John chapter 10, verses 27 to 28, he said, my sheep hear my voice. And they follow me and the voice of the stranger they will not follow and i give them eternal life and they will never perish and nothing can take them out of my hand i see you by the revelation you are receiving in this convention scaling new height breaking new ground breaking forth on every side in jesus holy name is somebody ready for a change of level in revelation jump on your feet bear up your mind to god tell him lord i sign in for a new level of love i sign in for a new dimension of revelation i sign in 
Lord, I want to dedicate myself to you afresh to love you and to keep your word. Make a new commitment to love God. Reconnect back to God where you are falling and where you are failing. Lord, here I am. I've not loved you enough. Lord, ignite a new fire in my love for you. I then mention in one minute what area you want to hear from God. What area you want to see as you want to see. Lord, my business is not moving. I need light from heaven. I'm into depth. I want hair from my mouth. I'm struggling. This is the area I'm struggling. I know your light will be a bailout for me. I want a revelation that will change my story. Enough of stagnation. Enough of perspiration. Enough of this frustration. Lord! Give me the bailout. Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Lift up your two hands to heaven. I dedicate you afresh for ever flowing revelation from heaven. The day of your walking on in darkness is over. And I command a fresh baptism of the love of God. Whatever is contesting with the love of God in your heart is hereby caused from the rule. The Holy Ghost take over your heart. And share the love of God abroad in your soul. In Jesus' holy name. Give him thanks. Put your hands together for the Lord.